The cameras are definitely being used in a positive way. The software that came with it um, was really useful. It helped me to save time, haven't had to photocopy things in the morning, you can just pop things up on the board and the whole class can see it really easily. When you're not giving out too many pieces of paper, not only is it good for the school in terms of resourcing, but it actually maintains focus quite literally on the board. In English at the end of the lesson, I would get a child who's done some really good work and includes all the features that I've looked for, and then I'd put their work under the visualise it and point it out and then if they want to they sometimes use a green pen to highlight any features that they need. It's really good for peer editing because it means that we can do it as a class, we don't have to do it in pairs or threes, we can share the whole experience and really sort of nail those perhaps punctuation or grammatical points that otherwise might be hard to get across uh, to the whole class. The camera will be used to demonstrate a good piece of work and it shows the children exactly where they need to move on to next and what they're aiming for and the target could be. But it's also motivating to the children to see, yeah, this is my work or this is what I want my work to look like. They know that it needs to be clear enough handwriting that other children will be able to read on the board, so a lot of them will try harder with the handwriting. They get to show off what they've done and if they've done the right thing and it sort of boosts their confidence as well. We all know that sometimes it's an effort to actually edit work. It's not children's favourite activity all the time. But actually, if you're asked, ask the rest of the class for their suggestions and we work through it and we make some additions and we, um, then it can will become really quite a lot of fun. They love coming up to share their work and they will ask even to put it under the camera at the start of the lesson and it gives them a kind of motivation to try and include the things that I've been looking for. The equipment's really small so we can just pop it on the floor. You can use it anywhere basically, there's no limitations. When the children are doing a presentation, for example if they're doing a little play or something like that, I can move the laptop to the middle of the room, I can focus the camera on them with a minimum of fuss. You've videoed what they're doing, you can show it to them again on the whiteboard and they can see themselves, which is obviously very powerful. Because it's flexible, you can zoom in really easily, there's no buttons of how to zoom in, you just press it down, illuminates what you need to see, and it doesn't matter about the other lights in the classroom, it's focusing on what you need. It's nice to have a camera you can use uh, where you feel like you're actually physically doing something, you're actually really reacting to the children's interests and showing them the different parts of the objects that you're uh, investigating. It works very well. We really want to engage the children in technology and how that can improve their lives uh, for the better. Um, we really want to improve uh, staff teaching in their uh, professional development. We want to trial and use new products that are out there.